good evening. Uh, this is a, maybe going to be a review. This is a review. Mm -hmm. Saw all these limes today, but I didn't buy any. Um, I don't know, it's fine without a lime. It's got a worm in the bottom. This is mezcal. This is a tequila with a smoky worm in it. It's, um, a lot of flavor. It's got all that essence. It's a sour essence. Solid piss color. No, it's actually not that color. Yeah, maybe it's fairly accurate. The worm is supposed to do something for your dreams as well. Delton, check my review. Hey, I recommend that cheese to anybody. It can, you can put it on anything. You can eat it alone. It's fantastic alone. It's fantastic alone. It's good on salad, I guess. Oh yeah, it's got comes with this packet and a seasoning. I've honestly never used a seasoning. I've only drank a few of these bottles, but it's pretty damn cool. You're holding in your hands one of the most legendary drinks in the world. Its mystique created over hundreds of years follows it to this day. What is it about Mezcal that has given it such an avid following? What makes it so unique? The beginning. Mezcal dates from the middle of the 16th century when the Spanish conquistadors had conquered the New World when they ran out of their traditional rum. The battle-scarred fighters looked for something else to celebrate with.
the Aztecs near the mountain top settlement of Monte Alban in Oaxaca had cultivated a certain species of agave cactus for juice which they would ferment into what they called pulque. The Spaniards wanting something more, much more potent than pulp began to experiment with the agave. First they chopped it up to be cooked. The juice was then pressed out, fermented for several days, and finally distilled. The result was mezcal, the legend. Traditionally, every bottle of true mezcal made in Oaxaca province contains an agave worm. Since the agave worm inhabits only the species of cactus that mezcal is made from, the agave worm signifies genuine mezcal made the traditional way. The worm isn't there for looks. It is meant to be eaten because it is believed by many that within the worm lies the key. Some say it unlocks the door to a world of wondrous experience, as others say it sets free a spirit of celebration. Still, others say that eating worm locks in the enchantment. Jesus, another page. The excitement of the mezcal and the excitement and the son of a bitch. I lost the mezcal. The worm then holds the different keys for different people, and there's only one way to see what yours will open. Try it. Mezcal is traditionally drunk like tequila, that is, with a lick of salt and a bite of lime. For a true tradition, use the mixture of sea salt and spices attached to this for sure. You'll find Monte Alban Mezcal con Gusano to be smooth and mellow as a Mexican sunset. It certainly is even without that. Though I've never seen a Mexican sunset. Yet underneath you'll discover a potency reminiscent of the ancient Spanish warriors who invented it. Whether you take it straight or mix it, be assured that Monte Alban is true mezcal. The proof is in every bottle. This shit's good. It's fairly inexpensive for how good it is. I don't remember how much it is. It might only be like 22 bucks. It might be 29 bucks, but I think it's closer to 22 bucks. Hell, I think I could buy it for $19.99 on sale. Tequila! 